Last month, I experienced over $50,000 worth of airfare, hotels, dining, and activities all in a span of seven days at the Four Seasons Maldives. This entire experience, starting in San Francisco all the way to our own secluded private island in the Maldives, could only be shared with a very special person in my life, my dad. Let's see what one of the top luxurious island experiences is like. We are now moving to the next island. Thank you so much. Enjoy your time. Okay, bye everyone. See you soon, okay? We're about to take this seaplane. Never taken a seaplane before. Look at these pilots. They're just wearing shorts, flip-flops. I mean, this is their this is their lifestyle. This is their job. They just get to fly seaplanes to and from different islands in the Maldives, and it's total island style. Hello, guys. How are you? Are you guys the pilots? By the way, I love your uniform. The bare feet pilots, the flip flop pilots, love it. I feel really at ease right now. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Hello. So I am the lucky chosen one. They said uh, they're gonna teach me how to fly this seaplane. Look at all these knobs. It's, a piece, it's gonna be a piece of cake, I got it. You know, just uh, press a few buttons and we're off. And then the plane flies itself or something like that. And this was our island's welcoming brigade. While we were there, the island celebrated the start of their festive season with butterfly kites and traditional Maldives Bodu Barrow drummers. Okay guys, it's time to give you a house tour of our new spot here on Lunda. Enter paradise. We have a footpath right here leading into, as you can see, this quite a large space. There's a cistern here, which I think is supposed to be catching all the rainwater. That is the biggest clay pot I have ever seen, that's for sure. Okay, this is where we're focusing though. So, this is the outdoor area. There's a ton of room for hosting and for guests and for lounging about. Look at how gorgeous this wood is too. The color of this wood. It's almost like a sunset color. And we have this incredible pool. It's infinity pool, which is large enough to swim laps in or lounge about even more as someone else is swimming laps. If we go out here, this is really special. Another lounging bed, There's plenty of room for lounging, more lounge chairs, and our little beach area. So this is the whole bungalow slash villa area. I mean, guys, this is the nicest place I've ever stayed in by far. This is luxury travel at its finest. So let me show you a little bit more before we go inside. 
There is a spiral staircase right here that leads up to this loft. There's a bed up here. You can actually sleep up here if you want to, except you're gonna be eaten alive by the mosquitoes. A hammock and this gorgeous view. I was using this area as my early morning meditation spot. Okay, so let's go back downstairs. Next up is the bedroom. This bedroom is large enough to be a small house, but it's actually only a one bedroom. I'm really loving this indoor outdoor living. I've kept these doors open even though I get eaten alive by mosquitoes. Let me show you the bedroom. Enter the spa bedroom. That's basically what it feels like in here. Bowl of fresh fruit every single day. The lounge couch, the workstation, the spa hotel music, the four poster bed, complete with mosquito netting. So this is why I'm able to keep these doors open because of this mosquito net. I mean, look at this lamp. Like what even is this? Okay, we got tons of closet space. Quite a large hallway just for the closet. And one of my favorite things about this place is a full length mirror as you walk out of the bathroom. Okay, let's walk into the bathroom. Another mirror, a large vanity area. And look, everything, all of the amenities are in these beautiful elixir bottles, right? So this is lotion. They even have after sun gel. Look how cute everything is. These are Q-tips and some tissues. We have beautiful orchids in the bathroom. So we've got two sinks in here. This bathtub might as well be a small pool. And look, more elixir bottles. We've got bath gel and bath salts. The toilet, it even has this old school bidet. And then we have the shower. Of course, it's that big flat shower head. Last but not least in the bathroom is we have the outdoor shower. I did not use this outdoor shower at all, but it does look very fun. And probably great for an influencer photo op. <laughs> Except I didn't take any. So guys, that is the full house tour of this second bungalow here at Landa Giravaru. So now it's time to go eat. We have been eating the most delicious food, the most rich, just exquisite cuisines. And we have been making sure to indulge and eat as much as we'd like. Yeah. This whole composition of your face. And whatever we'd like. To indulging. Again. <laughs> All right, they provided some complimentary champagne. How's it looking? It's cold and ready to consume. All right, Dad, don't, yeah. No, just... no, I'm not gonna pop it. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste it. Let's do a civil act. Cheers. To get around this island, we've just been biking. So they give all of the guests your own personal bike just because the island is so big compared to Kudahura, the last island we were on. So we're pretty mobile here. It's pretty wet, but it's okay because we are in the tropics and that's what it's about. Off we go for another meal. We're overeaten, <laughs> under-exercised. <laughs> Lobster here, seared tuna, salmon, tuna ceviche, and carpaccio. All right, Dad, dig in. What are you gonna go for first? I'm gonna try the lobster. It's got truffle on it, I think. There's a lot going on with this. Mm -hmm. We're in for the main course. It's Australian grass-fed ribeye with, look at how fat these potato fries are. This lighting is not very conducive to filming right now, so I'm gonna take one bite and then enjoy my food here. Oh. 
So, we've been in the Maldives for the past week. And the first part of this week, it was sunny, blue skies, just beautiful everywhere, incredibly pink and red fiery sunsets. And then the second part of this week has been just very gray, rainy, and stormy. But we're in the freaking Maldives, so it's still incredible out here, rain or shine. Sure is nice being transported everywhere with this buggy and this service. Hello. Hi. I will have a. Well, I'm a cup of tea. <laughs> Thank you. I want a hot coffee this morning. Hot coffee. Yeah. You know, maybe it's a good idea to have a hot coffee. Look how rainy it is. It's kind of cozy. It's a very rainy, stormy morning. You know, it's not sunny, blue skies every single day. The rains come in, but it's still gorgeous here. It's about 7.30 in the morning and we're just sitting down, having some coffee, relaxing. That's what this whole trip is about. This whole luxury travel island life here in the Maldives at the frickin' Four Seasons is all about relaxing. Right, Dad? Very relaxed. Have been so relaxed and refreshed and calm and, and at peace this whole time. And no masks. No masks only because everything is outdoors. All the staff wear masks, but we're not required to wear masks because literally everything we're doing, everywhere you walk, everywhere you go, except your hotel room, obviously, uh, is outdoors. So it's our last night here on the island of Landa and we're celebrating the Holy Festival here. They're having this huge celebration. Look how beautiful this is. I don't think it's complete if I don't have Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Yeah. No, Perfect. <laughs> it's our last night and it's quite the dinner to be sending us off. It's just such a beautiful buffet of delicious Indian food. most incredible to me was the sheer production of the entire experience on this lone, secluded private resort. We ate cuisines from all over the world in four different restaurants on this island in the middle of the ocean. Our hotel rooms were actually villas inside a walled property of what felt like our own house. The staff knew our names and the service and amenities were all way beyond what you might think a tiny secluded island could offer. This was an incredible experience that is truly once in a lifetime. And as much as I hope I will be back soon, I don't know if this opportunity will arise, but I'll keep my fingers crossed. Until next time, guys, still taking on the world.